I've got a 2008 Nissan Sentra. The drive belt broke. So naturally the first thing I've got to check is that all the pulleys are able to rotate freely. And the two pulleys I can reach from the top are rotating freely. I've printed out a belt routing diagram for me to reference. And I've got a new belt here. So, I'm going to start at the top with the alternator. And it looks like one side of the alternator goes down and hooks up with the uh, compressor. And the other side goes down and hooks up with the water pump. So, kind of struggle. Get this one down. Normally there's a cover here, but it's already it's already missing. The tensioner on these, it's an automatic tensioner with a 14 millimeter bolt head on it. I think what I'm actually going to do is remove it from the compressor. There we go. I wonder if I can prop it up here somehow. So everything is on there perfectly. So what I did is I put the belt on everything except for the uh, AC compressor. Then I hit that tensioner with the 14 millimeter and then I was able to pop the AC belt part on. This car got towed in. Obviously the battery died from the alternator not being powered. So what I'm going to do is start the engine and then make sure that the alternator is producing voltage. And also check out the belt, see if there's uh, anything going on that might explain why it broke. So the voltage is looking great, alternator's fine.
Uh, being that on this engine the water pump is also powered by the belt, he may have overheated it before the battery died, but only time will tell if he has problems with that.